the beautiful one and only Cancun. Such an amazing paradise with lots of beautiful beaches and places for you to check out. But is it really a good place for dogs? But before we get into that, let me take you back. Back in time when we first met Pastel. We searched Google, we searched Facebook, we searched all over shelter, but we always found a reason not to take the dogs home. Too old, too hairy, too wild. And then came Pastel. It was love at first sight. No more questions or reasons needed. They were meant for each other. I always wanted a dog. But in Russia, I used to live in a small rented apartment, so it was just impossible. And then, when I moved to Mexico and started living with Frank, that's when I knew I would have one. Preparation time. Make sure you check the temperature. It can be too hot for your pet. Have a leash ready, water for you and your pet, and most importantly, swag for your pet. Mia Mascota Consentida, the sponsor of this segment, has different styles of colors, can make those amazing costumes and bandanas for your dog, and also has the whole line of products for health and treatment. Check out the link below for more information. Although Cancun has a lot of amazing beaches, none of these allow dogs. Yes, your furry little friend cannot enjoy the water here. But if you wake up pretty early, you and your pet can probably spend some time in the water before the officers show up. Because or else, they'll ask you to leave. There's a beach called Playa Coral. Not the prettiest beach for humans, but for dogs, they seem to love it here. Is this where you want to go? <laughs> you love the beach? You love the beach? So much? Well then let's go. You ready to go? Okay, let's go to the beach then. Let's go, let's go. There she goes. That's one happy dog. I mean, she used to be afraid of the water, but lately we've been bringing her in a lot and so she's starting to enjoy it a lot. There is one more place where you can go, San Miguelito. This beach is much cleaner, but it has large waves, so just be careful. There she goes. Oh, she likes it now. This girl loves water. Good girl. Kalu Bakery is the sponsor of this segment. From a whole different chicken and carrots to different tastes that all dogs love, all natural ingredients. All delicious. I wish I could have some right now. Honestly, I have, and they're really good. Check out her Instagram below in the description. Galoo Bakery, the cakes and treats for all your furry friends. Garia Park, one of my favorite parks. Why is this my number one favorite park? Because this park, no matter what time of day you come, there's shade. Now there are some limits here. One of them, dog has to be in a leash. Why? There's a lot of beautiful wildlife here. Iguanas, birds, all this great stuff. And there's been some careless owners that, well, don't take care of the dogs and they've killed some iguanas. So they protect the wildlife here. But hey, get yourself a long leash and your dog is a happy free dog around here because technically she is on a leash. Very important too. Don't forget to bring your bags. When you leave your poop or laying around, iguanas might eat it and they will get sick. Now, be responsible. That's your dog, that's your poop. Clean it up and protect the wildlife here. Perrita, let's get out of here. What's your favorite thing about this park? I like the yoga. This is where she started doing yoga. Uh, we actually discovered this park when I first came here for the yoga session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just an amazing place. Unlike lots of the parks in Cancun, outdoor malls allow you to bring your pets with you.
These are the torches you have to do just to take her up the stairs. This is Puerto Cancun, one of our favorite outdoor malls. There's a lot of places to go shopping around. There's a great food court, great food, great stuff, and most of all, it's pet friendly. They even have a special place where you can take a free dog bag for pooping. <laughs> dog bag for pooping? For pooping. Dog bag for pooping. We sometimes, as pet owners, ran out of bags because our dogs poop a lot. <laughs> it's true, they poop a lot, especially if they eat a lot. And also they have an amazing walkway along the lagoon where you also can walk freely with your dog and you can meet other people with the dogs so they can communicate. And this is a really amazing place. Be aware of going to any archaeological places because you are not allowed to any pyramids or cenotes to bring your dog. One of the reasons cenotes are not allowed is because there's a lot of organisms in the water and they can contaminate that as well. We found only one cenote that allows on special days of the week to bring your pet with you. They do take it by reservation, so make sure you just don't show up. There is also one more thing that you need to know about Mexico. Remember, the people over here are first, super friendly, second, always trying to make money. When we went to Egbala, we had such an amazing experience because we had our dog with us. But unfortunately, she can't go into the archeological place. So the guy decided to say, hey, I'll take care of her. Give me her water, give me her bed, and I'll take care of her. He's one of the guys that lives there in the property. And also when we went to Cenote, had no possibility to leave our pastel anywhere. The kids that live over there in that my community, they were super happy to play with pastel. So there are a lot of places and a lot of people that are willing to take care of your pet so that you can have a good time. Just be mindful of that and give them a tip maybe towards the end. A good one. Ah, slobber. Wait, we're trying to remember the people. Just remember, your life is always better with Francochino. And bagel. And pastelita. Pastelita. Your bread stinks.